What's going on YouTube? This is what we're Josh doing. This is a brand new charger that Zero Limit released. I haven't done a battery pack video in a while and Zero Limit is a company that we all know and love very well. So I wanted to definitely make this video because this is 45 watts. This means that my Chromebook, which has a 45 watt charger, will charge at full speed using a battery bank. This will be the one and only battery bank in my possession that will is capable of charging it at full speed. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we have the charger protected with some bubble wrap. Very cool. I'm gonna show you that it looks very similar to the previous one that we had, but with some changes. We've got some instructions in here. We've got a neat little like strap to hold it with a compass on it, which is pretty neat. Okay, it looks like it's got a hole there to put that through to carry it. Very interesting. And then we've got a USB-A to Type-C. And that's all that follows. All right, so taking a look at the device, this is a wireless charger. So our iPhone X or our Pixel 4 can be placed on top and charged wirelessly, which is awesome. And while that's happening, we can have a USB-A to site C port that's going to something that maybe doesn't use really fast charging, like power delivery, for example, 45 watts. So we've got two ports there, and then we've got our type C. So this is the older one. It has a solar panel, which, I mean, it's very low power, so it would take you forever and a day to charge it. But on the other side, we have lights. And you just hold the light button down to turn the light on. And you do the same thing with the other one. Okay, maybe this one is dead. Huh, okay. So it is currently dead, but you press it again to like change the different things and then you hold it to turn it off. So this one's got a similar thing, but instead of using a solar panel, you got a wireless charger, which is way more beneficial for most users. Uh, and this did charge off of micro USB, but mine kind of broke and went in there somewhere. But luckily I can still charge it off of type C. Well, this will do five volts, 2.4 amps input. So it'll only charge at about 13 watts steady from empty to full. I'm very curious as to how fast this guy will charge. Zero Lemon was kind enough to also send us out another thing. This is a type C to lightning adapter. So you're gonna get quick charge on like your iPhone X, your iPhone 11, 11 Pro and, and above. And that is a nice long cable too. So one thing I am very curious about is how fast will this guy charge? This is a 45 watt charger from Inatech. We'll connect a type C cable that's capable of 60 watts power and we will connect it into the charging port there. And we will see that we have lights flashing. We're going at 16, which is already more than the previous one. And not all chargers are equal. So let's go ahead and try Anchor's 30 watt power delivery. See if it'll go faster than, oh, look at that. Look at that. That sucker. Wow. Okay. So, um, it's, uh, it's good charge pretty fast. Now I don't have any, this is supposed to be 45 Watts, but I ain't seen anything push it that hard. So I don't have any way of, uh, charging it any more than 30 Watts apparently. Cause I haven't seen this thing push more than 30 yet. This guy though, this thing pushes more than what it's uh, advertised at. So that, that's fast. And I assume it would charge even faster than that. I am pretty sure this would go the full 45 if I had a 45 watt charger. That's kind of ridiculous, but I'm definitely not complaining at all. Look at that, 30, almost 30, 37 watts. Oh, it makes me wish I had, uh, oh, I've got, I've got something. I forgot that I had this laptop charger that's 60 watts from pluggable. Let's see if it'll do 45. With the pluggable 60 watt adapter. Whoa, no way, no way. How fast will it charge? Jesus, this is my new favorite battery bank right here and I've even haven't had the opportunity to test it yet. 
it does 45 watts output and charges at over 60 watts, then yeah, I uh, I'm I'm sold. <laughs> this is this is my new Chromebook charger, my new tablet charger, which uh, the tablet charger goes at 22 watts, so I can charge my Galaxy Tab S6 at 22 watts. I can charge my Pixel at 24 watts, and uh, so this guy right here, <laughs> oh man. Uh, look at and all the ports too. So you have the Type A two right there, so you can be charging up your Chromebook or something. You've got three things charging, and then you've got four things charging. You've got the wireless charger up top that'll charge it as well. That is insane. That is insane. Let's come back when this is done. All right. So it charged up rather quickly, but it has been a while since I charged it. So let's go ahead and demo this thing. So. We will connect our type C port that does 45 watts of power delivery. And then um, we can see that it does five to 20 volts at three amps max for the PD input. And for the output, it does five volts, 2.8 amps. So a little more than what the other one could do before. Interesting. So let's go ahead and plug in our phone. And now that light will work on the back there just like it, the other one did. So now we're gonna plug in our phone. Now keep in mind, if your phone's dead, it will charge, um, it charges slower as it gets more battery into it. So we're gonna go ahead and see that we're charging at somewhere between three amps, hopefully. Now we're at 70%, so it may actually be like, also we're close to three, nice. So th this will be over three once the battery was like, you know, 40, 50% and it had to charge it up even faster. So uh, that's not too bad at all. And let's see what happens when we go ahead and throw our iPhone on the top here and a little green light comes on and now it says it's charging and we're getting about the same speeds. Oh, well, it's slowing down a little bit, but now we're charging two phones at once. And then we can plug in, like, if you had some earphones that were wireless that you needed to charge, you could plug it in using that Type A port and, a, you know, a Type A to Lightning or Type A to Type C. And then the other one could be used to charge something else. So uh, this is pretty awesome. This it, this is a big guy. This is a big guy. And that wireless charger? Oh, come on, man. And then if we want to get the fastest charge, we can plug in the power delivery port here. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our iPhone and charge it up wired from type A to lightning. And we got a little buzz and now we are currently charging and vice versa. If we wanted to go ahead and uh, use the wireless charger, you can see the little green light turned on and now we're wireless to charging while we have our iPhone charging. If it'll focus on that. It's a little charging symbols there and we're charging that too. Okay. So, I mean, it's, it's not the fastest wireless charger but anyways this is a giant battery that can charge up your macbook your chromebook anything up to 45 watts and it will input like it will charge at even faster than that you've got a light which i've actually used this light many times if i can't find a flashlight and i've got my battery bank nearby uh this one actually no longer serves a purpose because um yeah it's 45 watts dude my, my Chromebook is life. I love my Chromebook, especially with Google Stadia. And now I can keep my Chromebook topped off for a really long time while I've got my you know, phone tethering to my laptop, wirelessly charging, or a cable connected to it. So there's just so much you can do with this is what I'm trying to say. I will have a link in the description below if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.